Good morning everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Happy Factory, this is episode 15 and in the last episode, uh, well in the last many many episodes I was trying to get the iron production high enough so I can actually make enough red belts to extend the uh, main bus up to here so I can then produce all the chemical stuff and once I have all the chemical stuff I could just have uh, uh, the chemical industry for blue science, but I changed my mind, I'm not going to do any of that. Well, I still need to extend uh, iron production at some point, and that some point is going to be pretty soon, I guess, but let's not do it now. Uh, now I feel this is kind of silly, I, it makes sense to put the chemical process in here. It's a, reason like, it's a reasonable place, the middle of nowhere, um, and that's a good place to put it, but... Actually, I guess I should uh, add a few more... Uh, yeah, I could just extend extend the storage by a bit. Okay, let's like, extend the storage before I go anywhere. Uh, yeah, like that. I'm just going to double the storage, like I'm, I have, uh, I'm mass producing all those, uh, I'm mass producing uh, storage tanks, so it makes sense to actually use them. Uh, there are not that many uh, products uh, in vanilla game. There's just uh, Crude oil, three fractions of oil, and uh, uh, sulfuric acids of, and, and water if I need water for anything. It's very rare that, that you would actually need water to be transported uh, into storage tanks. Like, hypothetically, like, well, actually in vanilla you never need that. Like, in uh, some fancy mod, maybe you could just use rare tankers to do that. Can I rotate this? Yeah, I can rotate this. Uh, so you could maybe like uh, put waters into barrels and then transport them uh, into your chemical processing factory in the middle of nowhere. Uh, assuming you, let's say, play with water on the starting area, which is like a pretty sensible setup. Uh, so, but in vanilla, like I don't think I would ever trans like need to store water for anything. So that's just basically those four and sulfuric acid. Okay, so let's make more of those and. There the are two reasons why it's so much such a crazy amount of storage for that. I mean, this is not a crazy amount of storage, this is an entire reasonable amount of storage, but it might get crazy. So there are two reasons. First is that oil is magical in Factorio and it, it will always pump from the ground. There is no, never going to be peak oil. Actually, there is going to be peak oil, but it's going to pump forever even after peak oil. So you need a lot of, uh, a lot of storage for crude oil because uh, it's better to just have extra storage and just pump it slowly. Even like if you don't use it because it's basically free oil. It will just, just be slower, but it will just keep pumping. And the second reason is that this uh, basic oil, uh, oil refinery produces them in completely wrong ratios. Like you need massive amounts of petroleum gas and you need very little of everything else. So the ratios are completely ridiculous. Okay, let's disassemble this. Disassemble all of this. Yeah, so I'll just pipe this just petroleum gas south. See, so this is the one I need in massive amounts. Everything else is just like whatever. Uh, I don't think this one is used for anything directly, like a heavy, the heavy one is used for uh, for lubricant, oh yes, so sorry, so there's, there's sulfuric acid and there's also lubricant, so that's another one, uh, and yeah, and so the second reason is that because they use the in completely wrong, uh, uh, wrong fractions and you can't just pipe it into like uh, seawater like over there. I guess there's some mods where you can just like, re really like get rid of uh, some fraction if you don't need this. Or you could just disassemble the tank, like if you disassemble the tank which has stuff in it, uh, the stuff will just magically disappear. Which is kind of silly, but yeah, whatever. Uh, I wish, like, like some people would just wish that you could just get rid of like all the pollutions by like, putting in a tank and then disassembling the tank. That would just solve so many problems. It's like carbon sequestration. You just put like carbon dioxide into the tank and then dis like disassemble the tank and yeah, gone. That's I just solved the global warming this way. How amazing is that? Uh, yeah, it would be nice to have some lamps here, but I need, I need to pipe electricity here first. Uh, yeah, let's put some lamps anyway. Oh yeah, I still need the shotgun. So if there's any wood, I need to remember to just make a shotgun so I can just clear out random rocks like this one. Uh, for just just so I can, for example, uh, make it like nice and square, so it's just symmetric. Uh, because right now it's not, and this just might be annoying. Actually, is it, is it going to like like equalize without pumps? I I know I use pumps for like oil and stuff, but those were now need trail tankers. Maybe just like very slowly equalizing. Anyway, so uh, let's make the entire thing like here. So what do I need? I need uh, 
create a lot of this chemical factories and I don't have any. Uh, I have five. Uh, I mean, some iron now. Actually, in gears, not even iron. Okay, let's grab some iron and make gears manually, I guess. And try not to pick up too much coal. Because it always happens when I'm trying to get stuff from... Yeah, let's get that as well. And let's gears. Uh, yes, so let's make a lot of chemical... Po yeah, that's, that should be enough. Uh, yes, so... Uh, I could put it here, like it's... Or maybe maybe this way, I don't know. This way, is, this, this way looks good. Uh, so I could pump water from here. Uh, I, oh, actually, the pump. What do I need for a pump? Steel. Okay, let's get some steel. Uh... Oh no, sorry, I need a pump track, I don't, I don't need the... the uh, uh, yes, they're called pump and pump, and that's mighty, mighty confusing. Uh, yeah, this is super slow, but... I guess I could do it in a factory, but it just feels silly to make a factory for something I need so little of. But then I made a factory, for example, for steel furnaces and for like uh, storage tanks and for steel chests, which are also like uh, relatively low. <coughs> uh, things you need re relatively little of. So, okay, so... Uh, we need a bunch of things. We need plastic, and uh, plastic I think is needed in relatively large amounts because it's needed for uh, all, all the high-level modules at some point. Yeah. So, uh, actually what are the ratios? So, uh, it needs uh, two plastic for eight seconds per... Uh. Okay, so one plastic and the one I see for... No, two plastic for one I see. And this is what? I see so this is two plastic for one blue I see that's not actually that much um, anyway we could we could just try to make this exact or we could just do a silly thing and just make like a large number of them for no reason so let's get the sulfur here uh, that seems like the right distance so let's make this a sulfur factory uh, so this is output sulfur, and the next one is going to get the sulfuric acid. Uh, how do I want to connect them, actually? So this is water, and uh, how am I going to do that? Let's do it like that. I might have to move it by one tile, I'm not sure. So like that, this will be just output. It doesn't need to be very elegant, it can be pretty silly. Uh, please don't run out of the red one. Okay, did not run out of red one. Uh, okay, this is going to be silly. Like that. What does it do? Oh, it needs. Oh, it still needs iron. Okay, so the, the entire setup is just just wrong. Uh, or maybe it's not. I could pipe the iron. Or, yeah, I could just belt the iron here. So yeah, like that. Just like that. Okay. So I think the ratio in that was 5 to 1, so in 1 second it produces 2 sulfur, and in 1 second it uses 5 sulfur. Uh, so it will be 5 sulfuric acids in 1 second from 5 sulfur. Wait, what? Why do I have... Oh, because it uses 2 so So in 1 second this will produce 10 sulfur, and in 1 second 2 of them will put it... Yeah, so that's the right, right ratio, so this needs to be... Uh, okay, so this is output. Uh, I think I should have like a storage for that somewhere. Maybe on the side? That's not very elegant. Or I could maybe uh, have like a battery factory here and not store it. Okay, so this is iron and uh, I guess I should just connect the iron to the fact to the science factory because it's just, just silly. I cut it temporarily just to make uh, more available here, but this seems that it's now now sufficient. So let's do that, and it's going to be a, a big drop in production for a while, but it's just going to go back to... This This seems saturated for now, at least. Okay, that's 300 transport belts. Okay, I'm just overloaded on transport belts. <laughs> Why did I have coal and iron ore? Uh, I wish I had robots that could just take get rid of this, and then I could just maybe clear it up later. Why do I have this? Why? People tell me why do I have this nonsense? Get rid of this nonsense. Please get rid of this nonsense. Okay, let's just... Did it pick it up from the ground? No, it didn't. Okay, so this that's right. Okay, I have too much of that. Actually, I have too much of that stuff. I should just... 
Oops, not, not this one. This one is for uh, splitters. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Wait, wait, how do I do that? I completely forgot. Okay, shift, not, not control. I, I'm not sure why I got confused here. I uh, think I have enough of that for now. Stra strangely, I don't have any inserters. Where's inserters? Do I have inserters factory at all? Apparently, I don't. I have fast inserter factory, but I don't have a regular inserter factory. Please make more. Okay. That seems strange. Why did I make just one of the factories and not the rest? Uh, there was probably some logic behind it, but I don't remember what was the logic. And I cannot just steal it from here because there's just not enough of them. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, I think this, the ratio is wrong between the top and the bottom. Uh, let's make some inserters manually then. Uh, okay. At least it's remember to put it down here and not... Okay, so let's just make it like that. Uh, is it going to be fast enough? Yeah, this one seems to be busy enough. Uh, this is just saturated, so I don't even know if, if it's fast enough or not. Maybe, maybe this is not fast enough. Like, I know the manufacturing ratios are right, but it's not saturated in the inputs, so... Oh, it's not saturated in the inputs because it doesn't have e even have enough gears coming. Uh, since I just, just opened the entire line of stuff. Oh well. Okay, so this has enough inputs. Uh, the gears are going to get saturated soon enough, and I'm not sure why it's not balanced. Why are gears not balanced? Are they supposed to be balanced? I thought I balanced everything. I sometimes forget to balance things when they like not very high throughput for any reason. The gears should be balanced. Oh, I know why they're not balanced, because the stuff on one side get like... So, it's balancing five of them with five of them, but only one of them have priority over the other one, so that's why not, they're not balanced, because one side gets them first. So maybe this kind of balancing solution is actually not good at all. It's... I mean, at maximum at maximum throughput is actually just fine, but often you don't have maximum throughput and like... Okay, laser turret, uh, yeah, whatever. At some point I will have to use laser turrets just to clear up some... Uh, yeah, there's just so many bugs everywhere. Uh, I just don't like the bugs in the game. I hope this. I wish this game did not have bugs. I much prefer it just a spades launch and stuff. Okay, so that just ran out of it. Uh, this will just end soon, and then I will disassemble this bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, as maximum throughput, like both of the lines, uh, uh, like the inputs, uh, the first half of the line is has as much as the second half of the line, so it should be fine. Anyway, uh, yeah. Oh yes, I wanted to get rid of coal. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of coal and iron. Okay, no coal and please get rid of the iron ore. Good. And I should make robots just to just for that. Oh, I need lubricant for robots, so I do need uh, engine units. That's I can make engine units already, and this is lubricant. Okay, so. I should make a factory for that at some point, but let's just make this one first. So what does it need? It needs uh, one uh, water pump. Okay, so let's connect water. Uh, I'm going to assume I'm not going to have to extend uh, uh, main bus uh, past it for a while at least. I will probably eventually have to do it because there's going to be a massive, massive uh, factory for the red ICs. Actually, there's going to be a massive factory for green ICs, and then red ICs, and then uh, blue ICs and modules and so on. So, this is like the biggest thing a late game, is just to make all the ICs of uh, every kind. At least that, that's what it used to be back when uh, uh, there was a rocket defense which required a crazy amount of different modules. Uh, I'm don't, I have no idea what is needed now, probably something similar. It's possible that they just changed the sprite and everything is actually works exactly the same. Okay, so that's connected. Uh, this design is actually not good at all. Uh, it's not good at all because I cannot actually uh, get it to different lines, so let's put it here. Uh, actually, it can go like that, that's just fine. Okay, let's put it like that. Okay, now it has everything except, of course, the output. Uh, let's now connect power. Uh, yeah, do whatever. Wow, this is just 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 needs the red one. That's so unusual at this stage of the game. Uh, okay, like that. 
Oh yes, and now I actually need to connect this up. Yeah. I guess I could, could connect this one as well. Sure, why not? It's not going to actually work because it's never it's not going to have any inputs for a very long time. Uh, I need uh, stuff like batteries and so on, which I'm not going to have for quite a long time. Uh, yeah, that's kind of awkward. Okay, and let's just power this up, like here. Okay, so it will saturate the line at some point. Uh, I probably should just use the fast ones everywhere. I'm not sure why I keep using the slow ones. Uh, like ninety percent of things are fine with the slow ones, but I don't, I don't remember which ones are the ninety percent that are anyway. Uh, so it's entirely possible that everything is just too slow. Uh, it's difficult to see because everything, like, factories have those saturating buffers, and uh, you can just see if the if uh, if the inserter is moving or not. But like this is not a steady state thing; it's just a temporary thing. If you set up a factory or the the output is is too busy. It's, it's really difficult. Like like if you have multiple factories, you can just uh, read their speeds and how much they need, like from the tooltip, and then you get the right ratios. But for many other things, like for example inserter speeds, like it's really difficult to see if this is fast enough. So it's possible that something is just completely wrong here. Okay, so just I'm not going to connect them to um, inserters just yet. I don't have enough power. Like I keep I keep expanding the things, and I okay I'm slowly running out of power. That seems wrong. I remember that I expanded the power a lot and like... Yeah, I have 40 of those. Is that... Wait, that doesn't add up at all. So this is 500 uh, kilowatts. That should be 20. Uh, but this production is much less than 20. It should be like... Okay, so, so half a megawatt, a bit over half a megawatt each. So this is a bit over 20 megawatts. So this should be like 60% util utilization, and this seems like 80-90% utilization. I'm just going to just check if everything is right there. Uh, hopefully everything is right, and I don't need to like... For example, it didn't get attacked by bugs or anything silly like that. Uh, yeah, the entire thing, I wish it just did everything that doesn't require the blue science. And then I'll just make blue science and do everything that doesn't require the alien science. Okay, so this seems to be going well enough. What is this? Oh, it's a stone. I just, I'm just so annoyed by like small patches like that. I just want to put them in like a chest or something. And even for like, don't need that much stone for anything. It's just like, there's a, there's a patch of something potentially valuable somewhere in my base. And like, uh, it's really close to everything else. So it's just kind of asking for it. But yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this. It, it's also very, very easy to just like get rid of some random. Uh, electric pole and you're not really sure if this is an electric pole that actually supplies only the like the local stuff or is it needed for uh, to collect the big stuff the big thing so maybe i should just ch change it to like using uh, only uh, big electric poles to connect different factories uh i mean calling them this thing a factory and just use the medium ones inside one uh yeah i have so much stone everywhere anyway so why do I even okay i could put a second chest and just just change the direction uh, uh, maybe need more copper why is it not balanced again wait is it right no that looks right why is it unbalanced like seriously I completely don't get it why is it so horribly unbalanced like uh, should I like make a balancer here first or something? Okay, that that's because they're on just on one side. Uh, that's just run out of. Okay, I need to find a second copper patch and just pipe entire copper. Uh, well, this is a copper over here, but that's kind of awkward. This is some bits of copper. Where am I anyway? I'm here. Okay. Uh, this is just a massive. Uh, oh, this is some copper. Oh, this is copper. This is a nice big pa patch of copper. Uh, it's not super convenient, but uh, actually I could just disassemble the entire uh, copper assembly. Uh, copper assembly. What the hell am I saying? I could dis. Uh, I could disassemble the entire thing, maybe, or I could just uh, get ore from a different direction. Let's let's take a look at the copper ore. How far is it? 
Okay, it's here. It's actually not very far at all. So no, it's a, it's really conveniently located. Uh, whatever. It's very conveniently located actually. I could even connect it now, but it's also not very big. Like, uh, it's just I mean, it's mostly just just like inconveniently. Um, okay, let's just get some. Let's make it denser this time. I don't need to make it dense, it will eventually get it, uh, it will eventually get mined even if it's like less dense, but I have enough uh, miners and enough power for miners. Uh, one more so it gets all extracted. Okay, uh, and I can extend it later. So let's move it like that. I'm laying it down now, but I probably won't connect it for a while uh, to electricity and to everything. Uh, I can do that because we are very peaceful, so the bugs don't bother us and we don't bother the bugs and everybody's happy. Uh, yeah, let's get here. All the splitters have no need for electricity, of course, so it's, everything is awesome. Uh, the only downside is I'm going to use my, my red belt, which is kind of in short supply. Uh, Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a double, uh, just double bus from here. Okay, so I'm just going to pipe the double bus into this. So one is going to go up and one is going to go down. Uh, but yeah, I'm not just yet. Uh, I probably don't have enough power to actually do that. I, c I guess I could get rid of radars. Like the radars have done done their job and they don't need it anymore. Uh, okay, so what is this? Uh, yeah, it seems like, okay, how much the radars are using? 1.5, so they're using 10% of my power and they're using, basically doing nothing useful. Uh, 300 inserters, that just sounds crazy. And I will just expand it by a lot by all the chemical factories. Uh, okay, so it's not connected. It's This one is not? Wait, why is it not connected? It's not? Oh, uh, I forgot to put a pipe here, and I forgot to put a pipe here. Okay, so I was completely right. Uh, ten of them were not connected, so yes, now it's sixty percent. Okay, that, uh, yeah, that's something I noticed. It's, it did not seem like it. It said that there are forty, but it said that the numbers were not right. And yeah, I was right to take a look at the numbers. And now basically we connected uh, entire line like this one and this one. Okay, so this was an impressive... Well, I'm impressed by myself. Uh, and I'm impressed by myself because once I just completely forgot... Like, I had a backup steam engines uh, and I had them disconnected from everything else. So, uh, and then I got attacked by bugs and I just decided I'm not playing with bugs anymore. <laughs> uh, because, like, it, it's not a very, very good system because it doesn't tell you... Especially once you have accumulators, then it gets super confusing. If you only have, like, steam engines, it makes sense. But if you have accumulators and stuff, it just gets so confusing to figure out, like, if you have enough or, or whatever. Okay, so... Uh, I think... Eh, fine, like, like there's enough, there's enough copper for now, so... Uh, actually, there's not enough copper, there's, it's just a yellow line. The yellow lines are easy to saturate. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, I... I turn off the uh, extra info modes because uh, it's annoying that it displays pollution and I never want to see pollution on the map. Uh, yes, uh, that's red, good. And let's upgrade the entire thing. Uh, <laughs> this r random bit of copper. Okay, and I, and I ran out of it again. No, I didn't. Oh no, it's just upgraded from here on. Everything from here on is upgraded, it seems. Is it? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, like, for example, under under this one, I have no idea what's upgraded and what isn't. Uh, let's get it... A, let's get it a bit down. Let's upgrade it here. Uh, it, this is a sm small throughput factory, so it doesn't need it, but it's just, like, easier to have it upgraded everywhere. So, for example, if you want to upgrade all, all the... Uh, all the miners to like let's say mark two miners because you're playing with a mod that has them you just click on any electric pulse and we tell you if you have anything that you forgot and then you still have to find them somehow but at least you know if you forgot them or not but like 
with the with the bells you have no idea if the thing is just too slow because um uh there's some leftover bells that you're completely uh not aware of okay let's get let's move them here uh oops what the hell are you doing hey alien tech whatever oh yeah i want to do a shotgun uh what the info shotgun uh okay i need some of that rocket launcher oh this actually like a battle shotgun or something at some point but yeah whatever shotgun shells let's make 10 shells uh I'm not going to fight aliens, I'm just going to clear some rocks. Okay, so... Uh, it was a pretty good episode, so in the next episode... Uh, so, so in the next episode I'm going to uh, expand this bit of chemical factory to also uh, make plastic. So it will make plastic and sulfuric acid and batteries. And I'm not sure how I'm going to... Where I'm, what I'm going to do to set up like a red ICs. I mean... Red ICs are, are going to be probably like the episode after next or by the end of the next episode if, if I get it fast enough. Uh, and things are never going fast enough for some reason. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!